So today we're going to be making a dish with eggs and tomatoes. And if you've already guessed shashuka, you would be correct. Now, what goes into shashuka? It's going to be some onions, some peppers, garlic, some parsley, some feta cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit of green onion and some spices. So we have cumin, paprika, and chili powder in this little bowl right here. And I'll have measurements for you in just a bit. So to get this shashuka started, what we need to do is we need to brown up our onions and our peppers, and we need to get those going. So we're gonna go ahead and start that process in a frying pan, and we'll be back in just a moment. Over a medium flame, let's go ahead and get our pan heated up. So you can see here, we're gonna be at a good medium heat. Now, what we're gonna to wanna to do is add some olive oil into this pan. And so I'm not going to measure, but you know that I will give you a measurement. I'm gonna put a decent amount, because it's a big pan. And this is going to be making four servings of shashuka, depending on how many people um, you're feeding. Um, this could be two eggs each, or it could be one egg each. It's entirely up to you, um, however you wanna look at that. We're gonna use four eggs. You can use up to six in this recipe. Let's go ahead and add onions into the pan. And our peppers. You can hear them sizzling as we know our pan was hot enough to get that started. And now we're just gonna spread everything out nice and even. And once we've got our onions and peppers to a glistening point and where we're happy with them, we'll go ahead and we'll add in the garlic, but not just yet. We've been moving our onions about here and our peppers and just making sure that nothing burns, but I wanted to show you just up close, they are starting to become translucent. Once we're happy with the translucent color of them, we'll go ahead and we will add in our um, garlic and also our spices. That's what's coming next. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you dizzy there. All right, we'll be back in just a second. I'm pretty happy with the color of these. We want to catch them just prior to browning. And you see, you got a few of the little ones starting to brown. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and add in our garlic to the pan. As you can see, we got it right there. It looks fantastic. And then we're going to get our spices also into the same pan. Okay, we got it all in there. All right, now we're going to move them around in the pan and incorporate them together and let that garlic start to cook and those spices start to do um, what I was taught by an Indian person was tardka or chunk, where we take the spices and we cook them down into everything. Look how pretty this looks. Just like that, it's already an amazing looking dish. It already smells fantastic too. I'm really excited to try shashuka. Friends of mine have been making it for a while. They have told me that I'm missing out if I'm not eating this. And by the way, it is a meatless dish, so it is a vegetarian dish, as long as you're a vegetarian who doesn't mind eating eggs. So probably not vegan, but very good for vegetarian. And no wonder, it comes from the Middle East, from Asia, that's where a lot of this cooking is done to make these nice spicy tomato dishes. All right, we'll be back in just a second. We're gonna let that cook down. How do you know when to add the tomatoes? You wanna add the tomatoes as soon as you can smell that garlic cooking down. We don't want the garlic to burn. So let's go ahead and get the tomatoes in there. And when we add the tomatoes, we're going to want to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in there as well. 
All right, now that I've got my salt and pepper in there, let's go ahead and get this all incorporated. Now, I've seen this made in cast iron pans. I don't think that's necessary. And actually, I'm concerned about the cast iron along with your tomatoes. Now, if you've done it successfully, good. I'm just gonna err on the side of caution and do it in a nonstick pan. And then that way I don't have to worry about my eggs and I don't have to worry about the tomatoes uh, reacting with the iron pan either. All right, this is all incorporated. Now what we're gonna do is just let this come up to a nice simmer. We're gonna let this go for a little bit. We'll be back. Once we brought our pan up to a simmer, which is happening here now, we can go ahead and get our eggs into the pan. We're gonna crack each egg individually, but first we have to make a divot for them. So as we do each one, we're gonna make a little space for it. We're gonna create a divot. So I'm gonna kind of pull open some space and put my egg right in there. And we're gonna cover this and let it cook. We'll be back to show you that in just a second. There's egg one sitting in there. We're gonna make another divot and move on. We're gonna let this cook for about five minutes or so. We'll check it just a couple of times to make sure, but you can see how beautiful that looks. Let's go ahead and put a lid on the top and let this cook up. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it, shall we? You can see how the whites are just starting to firm up a little bit. We're gonna cook this until we have the desired consistency, but you always wanna make sure that your whites are cooked the way you need them to be. So here's our shashuka after five minutes. As you can see, it's beautifully cooked. We're gonna let this go for just another minute more because we had two of the eggs that were added last that were a little more runny than the others, which is fine because some of us like medium eggs and some like over easy. So this is gonna work out just perfectly. We'll be back to show you plating this in just a minute. So here's our first shashukas out. I did not forget that feta cheese because this is where we put this on now as a garnish. So we're gonna go ahead and garnish some feta cheese. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. And then our parsley. Now, if you're a fan of cilantro, cilantro would also work here. And there you have it, our shashuka. Looks beautiful, right? 